Just a short video on this Friday afternoon. Well, it's Friday afternoon now for me when I'm recording this. Uh, I realise it might not be Friday afternoon when you're watching it. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, but I'm coming to the end of my working day. It's coming to the end of the week and I just wanted to share a short video with you. Um, so here it is. Um, a couple of learning resources that I want to share with you. Uh, and they're really good reference resources for data science and data analysis using Python. Uh, and also I have one little tip that I hope might save you some time when you're using Python for data analysis and data science. So the first thing that I want to share with you is the Python Data Science Handbook by uh, Jake Vanderplas. And this is a really nice little reference. So uh, the link's in the description, the link to all of these resources is in the description. And also I've linked to a talk given by Jake um, at PyCon 2019 about data visualization. So you can take a look at that too. So here it is. This is um, Python Data Science Handbook and it's free, obviously. I mean, it is a book, you can buy it, but it is free. So these are the sections, IPython, uh, introduction to NumPy, data manipulation with pandas, uh, visualization with matplotlib and machine learning. So those are the sections. Now, it doesn't go into a lot of detail. You're not gonna learn how to do you know, machine learning in any great depth with this, but it's a useful reference. So for example, let's say you are doing time series and you haven't done time series for a while or you've never seen time series before in Python uh, and you're just wondering how you should approach it. You can click on this section working with time series uh, and this is what you'll be presented with. And you can see you can open it in a, a, co a collab notebook, which is quite handy. Uh, so you can run it online and you get a really nice summary of working with time series in Python using NumPy and pandas. Uh, and there are little code snippets and explanations of how to do things. Um, Jake knows what he's doing. So uh, you can be confident that this is a, a good resource to learn from. And, you know, by the time you've reached the end of the page, it won't take you that long. You'll have a, a you know, a, a decent understanding of uh, certainly the basics of how to work with time series and that's really uh, what it's like with this book for all the topics that it covers uh, what else have we got so there's this uh, resource that I want to share with you as well statistics and machine learning in Python in this introduction it tells you a little bit about the Python ecosystem for data science uh, and then there's a recap on the Python language. Now, it, there aren't m many explanations here. It's mainly just code examples. So for example, if we have a look at list comprehensions and iterators, you'll see there's not a lot uh, in, in the way of explanation, but you get you know, some code examples showing you how to implement it. Uh, and then there are some exercises for you to work through as well. And that's really the style of this resource. Uh, and it covers the language and then the scientific Python uh, libraries and modules, the, uh, you know, the popular ones, and a little bit on, on statistics as well. Hello, this is Giles from the future, just in the edit. Um, I was going through the video that you're now watching and uh, what didn't come across uh, before because, uh, well, I re-recorded the video and I forgot to mention it in the version that you're watching, is that in the statistics and me uh, machine learning in Python uh, resource that I'm sharing with you, uh, the explanations when it comes to the statistics uh, are much uh, more detailed. They, they don't, it's not just code. You actually get um, uh, the, 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 uh, an explanation of the topic as well as the code. So for example here, you know, this is the mean and um, you get an explanation of what the mean is and how it's calculated. Uh, and then you get code examples with that. So I just wanted to point that out because the authors have gone to quite a lot of effort to do that. So I, I think it's worth highlighting. Um, that's it. And then finally, I just wanted to show you something else, which uh, again, if you're a beginner, you might not be aware of. So here we have a Jupyter notebook and I've imported matplotlib, numpy and pandas. Uh, so let's say that you're working through a problem uh, or an assignment or something like that and you want to know more about a function. You might end up going online and searching for that or going through the documentation. But a faster way of doing that, if you know what it is that you, what you're looking for, is in Jupyter Notebook to uh, use the question mark. So if you write question mark and then pd.dataframe, for example, uh, then it will 
give you the documentation on a data frame. With here, you get the examples that you get in the documentation online. So it shows you how to create a data frame. Uh, and it's the same with any of uh, the uh, any of these packages here. So if we were to have uh, matplotlib and we were to do the same there, you get the documentation uh, and with the example code here. So it might just save you a little bit of time if you've been going online to look for things and to read up how, on how they work. You've actually got all of that documentation at your fingertips in a Jupyter notebook. Um, so that's definitely something to remember. Uh, it, so it's question mark, plt dot plot and that will give you uh, the documentation that you need. All the links in the description. I hope you find that useful. I'll see you next time.